For the longest time, I've been a champion for superhero movies to get recognition by the big award shows like the Oscars and the Golden Globes. And not just for these Penny Annie Awards, but for the big awards like a Best Actor, a Best Director, and a Best Picture. In my opinion, and to the opinion of a lot of others, a movie like The Dark Knight was shafted in the year 2008. It really was. The Dark Knight was, along with Iron Man that same year, were two movies that broke the boundaries of storytelling in superhero movies because they presented themselves as dramas first and superhero movies last. Now, Iron Man, on the other hand, Iron Man was a drama, but it, but it had a lot more superhero -y elements to it. The Dark Knight, on the other hand, was a crime drama that just happened to have Batman in it. And, it, and both movies told compelling, interesting stories that moved and touched their audience and made them relatable to them. Going back to the year 2017, Logan was released. Now, for those who have been following the X-Men franchise from the year 2000, have been following the character of Wolverine played by Hugh Jackman. Logan was the culmination of nearly 20 years of investment in one character. And Logan was gut-wrenching. It was powerful. If the ending of Logan did not move you in any sort of way, then you just have then you did not care about this character at all, and you are and you are not a fan of the franchise at all. That is my, those are my personal thoughts on that. And if you don't agree with that, I really don't care. In my opinion, if, Logan, if Logan's ending did not touch you as a diehard fan of these movies, then you were never a fan to begin with. Hugh Jackman, in my opinion, he gave an Oscar-worthy performance. Patrick Stewart, you can, debate us, you can debate that he gave a good, solid supporting actor performance. Without question, Logan definitely was the best picture. Because it broke the boundaries of storytelling. At the end of the day, movies are about telling compelling stories. Logan told a compelling story. Not only did it tell a compelling story, it was probably one of the best dramas to come out in the year 2017 amidst all those other fucking dramas that nobody remembers a year later. People still talk about Logan one year later because it had that much it had that much of an impact on them. But the Academy Awards, they don't see that. They look at it as popcorn entertainment because they're fucking out of touch old goons who are not in touch with their audience. Get those people out of their positions. You're not welcome there anymore. You're 80 years old. Go back to the 1930s. The world has changed. The superhero genre tells more gut-wrenching and compelling stories than any other regular, regular movie can do on their best day. Which brings me to the purpose of this video. Again, I've been champions for superhero movies to get the recognition. I gave you three examples of movies that broke the boundaries that deserve those recognitions. But when a generic movie like this is considered for best picture by the Golden Globes and possibly the Oscars, that's where you know there's a problem. By saying that this paint-by-numbers generic superhero movie is worthy of a best picture spits in the face of The Dark Knight and of Logan. Two movies, like I said, that broke the boundaries, that were presented as something different. Again, The Dark Knight was a crime drama with superheroes. Logan was a gritty drama western with superheroes. Black Panther, again, is a paint-by-numbers superhero movie that by the time Infinity War came out, people forgot about it because in the last half hour of Infinity Wars moved people so much that it had them wondering what the hell is going to happen with the... with. With Avengers Endgame, as we all know, the, as we finally know the title for that movie. Black Panther itself, it got lost in the shuffle once Infinity War came out. That's how much of an impact it really had. If, if, and the only reason why people talk about it now is because of what's, is because of what is happening. Logan should have gotten, Logan and the Dark Knight. Those movies, they should have been recognized properly when they came out. They were game changers and they broke the boundaries of what how to do storytelling in superhero genre. 
This movie broke no boundaries. I don't care. I don't care what you're going to say to me. It didn't break racial boundaries. Do we forget about Spawn? Do we forget about Blade? Two movies that had a black man as the lead. Spawn, Michael J. White, was a badass. He was fantastic. Wesley Snipes as Blade, he was amazing. Badass. Fantastic. I would take Blade's story over, over Black Panther any day of the week. Blade had an interesting story. The first movie had an interesting story and an interesting mythos to it. This movie, paint by numbers. It's the Lion King. That's what it is. That's what Black Panther is. Black Panther is the Lion King made store set in Africa. Nothing really all that spectacular. Not only that, it wasn't even that good of a Lion King remake anyway. Black Panther's story is generic. Their characters, not really memorable. The performances are fine. The costume design for Black Panther is outstanding. I give awards for that any day of the week. Cinematography, one can argue that the cinematography for Black Panther looks great too. But a best picture compared to Logan? No way. You, you'll never, you will never convince me on your best day that Black Panther is best picture quality compared to Logan and the Dark Knight. You are on drugs and you need to get off the drugs. I'm sick and tired of mediocre movies taking precedent over movies that are actually good. Over movies that are actually gut-wrenching. Movies that actually stay with you. I'm sick of it. And I don't like it anymore. It's, 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 I'm done. I'm done seeing movies like Logan get shafted while mediocre movies like Black Panther get all the credit. And for what? For what? Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment sections below. Like this video and subscribe and I'll check you back next time for more.